Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I am playing Satellina, an awesome little iPhone game by Moonkid, who is Pete Smith, who you may remember as one of the creators of AfterQuest, one of the Global Game Jam games that I played a little while ago. Um, he sent me this because he wanted me to check it out, and I think it's super cool, and now that I can record iPhone games, I'm gonna play it. So, Satellina, I'm gonna go through the tutorial. Have you played Satellina before? No. When I say I think it's super cool, I watched the trailer for it and I thought it was awesome. I have not actually played it yet. So let's go. This plus is you. Touch and drag anywhere to move. Okay. Okay. You don't need to touch plus to move. Try touching and dragging somewhere else. Okay. Click green particles to advance. If it's not green, don't touch it. Okay. So as you collect a green one, the next one turns green. The clock is ticking! Finish fast to unlock new suites of levels. Oh boy. So it's sort of like a speedy, time trial-y sort of game, which is really interesting. Um, I love those for mobile games in particular because it gives you like a goal to go for over and over and over again. Alright. Finish ten levels in 2.30 or less to unlock- oh jeez, I'm supposed to start. These are all, okay, now, oh no, I lost. Okay, get all the green ones, and then all these green ones, and then all these green, whoa, boy. Alright. Green, oh, this is hard, it's really hard, oh, I see why it says you don't have to touch anywhere, because my thumb was in the way. But if I, like, click from elsewhere, I don't block my own view. Very smart controls, very smart. Whoop, whoop. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. Oh, you have to be really precise. Bloop, bloop. I love the bloop, 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 bloop. It would have been smarter to go against the green. Rah! Got it. Oh, boy. Hey, green dots, can you... That's... Oh, no. Come on, green dots. Oh, jeez. Okay, green dots. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, there's one, two, and three. Get them all. So I completed fast enough. Nice. A. Split to B and C. Left is easier, right is harder. Records. Oh, that's cool. Touch to see how you rank. Oh, I have my internet turned off, so I can't look, but... Global rankings, also a great idea for mobile games, because you could compete with people. I love that. That's a super, super nice, simple UI for records and stage select, too. Uh, let's go with the easier one. Try B. Each level is a puzzle. Have you found the best way? Yeah, this would just... That is definitely the best way to do that one. Catching the spin. Oh, kind of similarly. Yep. If you go against the grain, they kind of come to you. Now, if I'm trying to go as fast as possible, that's maybe not the best idea, but it works. All right. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Boop, boop. Oh, no. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, no. So another another cool thing that I've noticed that this is doing, very smart for this kind of game, is the um, losing just penalizes you time and only the time it takes to start over. Fingers in the way, move without touching. Yeah, that was... I figured that out. That's a really great idea. Oh. So these are dancing, basically. Got it. Oh, and I love the increasing pitch, too, when you get things. Whoa! Yeah, this is definitely one of those. I love, love how there's a puzzle to solving them. Like, that is so cool. Awesome. There's B. 
Uh, oh, I guess I have to do C to unlock this one too. I'm gonna go C and see how and see how that goes. This path is more dangerous, right? So C is harder. There's a wow. There's a lot of like finesse involved here. Oh. Sometimes you kind of like get yourself into a place where you have to escape, which is kind of cool and interesting and, and really tough. Whoa. Whoa, okay, so the middle is safe. That's, I gotta remember that. If I can get into the middle, the middle, oh, well, it's safe-ish. They seem to bob a little bit. Oh boy. Okay, there, that's good, that's good. Get me... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, got those. Get these. Oh, no! I accidentally just did, like, the Mario dying sound. But, like, out of anguish and not out of, out of imitation. That was actually super funny. Well, he was not kidding that C is harder. Jeez. Oh, I didn't even have to move. I could have just stood in the same place and gotten them as they came by. That was dumb. I'm rushing. And I don't really need to rush because I have plenty of time right now. Okay. Nice. Whoa. This is very... Besides being super intense and very like, Yeah, I gotta not hit him. I gotta get all the things I gotta do real fast. It's also sort of mesmerizing. And like Zen, the the movements of everything. Whoa, yeah. Speaking of mesmerizing and Zen, right? All right, let's get in on that conf, clump, confluence. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't be too close when they split again. Oh yeah, it's you got a trap, but getting them all before they split or else I can't get them. Got them. Nice. Oh, that was a cool one. Oh, jeez. Oh, and this is kind of a similar similar one to the other, like... Whoa! How do I get those two? How do I get those? There we go. Okay. Ah! Ah! Um... There we go. Uh, come on, greenie. All right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Beat it in 250. Or two, yeah, beat it before whatever my goal is. Nice. All right, unlock DEF. Now what I want to do is go back to options and change the colors because I'm not colorblind, but I wanted to show that they sort of, I mean, it's colorblind mode, essentially. They have colors for the different kinds of colorblindness. We have these, so red, green, Red, yellow, green, yellow, red, and then there's blue, like teal something and purple, we'll see, and then white something and blue. So I wanna play one on the teal and purple and see how that goes. So I'm supposed to collect teal. This is teal, yellow, and purple. So let's go with, oh, geez. Okay. I'm just gonna wait here for whoop teal. Okay. Teal teal teal. Oh hard. This is hard, guys. You really, really can't rush. To be like really precise. Yeah, you really, really, really can't rush. Just gonna dip. Oh, I just missed him. Maybe I'll go for a different one first. Nope. All right. Oh, okay. I'll just hang out here. That's fine. One thing, I guess, while I'm while I'm casually playing through this level, uh, all the music is no. As soon as I started talking, all the music is original, written for the game. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure who exactly did the music, if there's a particular person to credit, but the music is great. 
It's very, like, it's got a nice... The kind of vibe that I said this game had. It's like an intense but zen kind of at the same time. I don't know if I'm going to beat this one in time. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's hard. Got you. Oh! Oh, I missed him. Oh, come on. Got you. I love the little the little pops that increase in pitch. This one in theory I can just follow. Oh, follow those around. Yeah, that was fun. I love when there's a puzzle or like a path or something. It makes me feel like a speedrunner. Whoa. Oh yeah, that one is definitely finish the circle while the purples are are moving or while the purples are inside. Oh, and I should go against the grain. Got him and then nice. All right. Whoo. Now I got to beat this one pretty quickly. Oh, jeez. You can still open a new path finished in five seconds or less. No. No. I lost. Well, I gotta at least figure out the... Wow, this one is super hard trying to like sneak in here I'll get those and then maybe but they like wow wow well I obviously don't deserve to unlock a new level so I'm not like now oh, that was just a thumb slip I obviously don't deserve to unlock a new level because I can't beat this one yet. But I gotta do it at least. I had other ones to try. It's not like this is my only level left, but this is brutal. Okay, let me get in here and run away. I just gotta be super, super safe. Now, at this point, I guess there's no point in rushing. Because I'm not doing, like, a time trial anymore. Got him. Okay. Whew. Whew, boy. That was bad. That was bad. Okay. Well, I unlocked one path, I guess. Let me change. I want to do the, these colors. Now I'm going for white. I just want to show off all the colors. Uh, in theory, because I'm going to the left, G will be easier, but I'm not sure. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, man. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I keep clicking the button. I'm trying to like, all right, there we go. I'm trying to get my thumb in a good position. To like, gracefully guide my little dude. Yeah. Oh, that one was awesome. Okay. There's probably a strategy to this. Oh man, that's super hard. I bet there's like a really cool pattern that you can go in to like get them all in the middle. Let me try if I go up and then down. Well, wow. It was cool for a second. Like that, but 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 good. Like that, but good. Go. Cool. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go.
Ah, I'm scared. Oh, crap. That was so close. I'm rushing now. Okay, there we go. I got... Let me sneak in back into the middle. No. I tried to get... I tried to find a path. Okay, so that definitely works. Now if I go here and go down and then go back down like that... Come on! Got it. Oh boy. That was a toughie. Oh hey! Crazy spheres. Or... Rings. Whoa. Oh, it just... Come on. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Got those, okay. Ah! Oh, wow. The pattern is super unpredictable. You know what I also, I think, is great? So, I've just been kind of, like, cruising through this game, but what I think is great about it, about any kind of time trial game, is that it really gives you a sense of, like, yeah, I can, if I, like, practice this enough and, like, maybe learn the patterns and maybe get a little more precise, like, I can do this in one shot. Let's just, like, whoop! I can do this really, really well if I play it enough and, like, really practice. And there's a lot of feeling of skill involved. Come on. Let me get you. Let me get you. Cool. Nice. Nice. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting one. It's a bit slower of a controlled... Hmm. And now it's... This looks super easy, right? To just, like, go... But the fact that everything is spinning and, like, throwing off your directions the way that you're, you want to move makes it so much harder. There we go. That was good. All right. I can... Now, there's two ways I can approach this one. The the slow and steady way, which I think is the way I'm going to approach it, because that's how I approach things. Which is to just let them spin. Let them play themselves out. Let them touch themselves, as it were. Do they move up and down at all? I can't really tell. Oh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of room for minor thumb error, I have to say. Like if you accidentally nudge a little bit, like that, I let go and kind of jerked my thumb upward by accident, uh, which also is has like allowed for it to be so precise in the like things it requires you to do, which is a good thing. It just takes a lot of practice to like not accidentally flick your thumb when you move, when you let go and stuff. I wonder if there's a fast like speed runny way to do this one. If there's like a like a a, pa a route. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Nice. Oh, I forgot I had to get these two. All right. Awesome. Well, I failed my time trial, but that was pretty I feel that was hard, so yeah. So awesome. That that is all I'm gonna play for now, because it's getting to the point where I have to like focus super hard and I can't really talk anymore. You can also change the speed, which is pretty cool, of how you move around. You have split you can do split times. Which is nice. Uh countdown on, yeah. Alright. Well, let me try to, now that I've played a little bit, let me try to beat my my high score in level 1. Now that I have more of a sense of, like, how to, how to do this. Oh, I'm wildly flailing, so that's not a good start. Oh, there's just my split. Cool. 
Nice. All right, we got it, we got it. We got it. Awesome. That was a great split. Oh. Come on. Oh, that was just a bad thumb. I should be going this way. You should be going against so that it kind of brings him into view for you. That one I just ran out of room on my phone and I let go and I accidentally moved the screen. Alright, there we go. That was good. Oh, I'm plus now. So I, I improved very little is what the game is trying to tell me. Nice try, but... You stink. Did I make it up on the last one, though? Yes! All right, cool. I beat my time. So that, that felt nice. All right, anyway. That, uh, that is Satellina. I'm going to go back to the default colors. That is Satellina. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's really, really, really fun. It's available on the, um, the stores. Wait, it's available on the Google Play Store and also the iTunes Store. So go those places and purchase it. Right now it's one ninety nine. dollars um, Keep an eye out for that. Go buy it. Go play it. It's really fun. I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm sure you will too. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.